What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're gonna to be talking about rebacked cards. So what does that mean? A lot of you guys may not know what rebacked cards is, but I was brought to my attention that people are selling rebacked cards on eBay. So basically what a rebacked card is, it's pretty, not necessarily common, but it's been known to have happened in the Magic the Gathering community for the old school cards. Not so much into Yu-Gi-Oh though, until recently. Basically the only time that this would happen is when you want to replace the back of a card that is not normally the usual back. So Asian English, if you guys know what Asian English cards are, they're basically the same as North American cards. I'll pop up some examples on the front, but on the back they have the OCG logo. So they're English cards on the front, but they have the OCG logo on the bottom right. So you can tell when you flip it over immediately, this is not a North American English card. There is a ton of these for LOB first edition. They're LOB first edition, but they're Asian English. So they're worth quite a bit less than the regular North American print. What a rebacked card is, is someone has peeled off the front of an Asian English card and put it onto a North American back. So it looks like it's a North American first edition LOB card. And then they sell it for North American first edition LOB price rather than Asian English price. Obviously, it shouldn't even be an Asian English price at that point because it's already been peeled off like a sticker. This was brought to my attention by Schlost. He is on Instagram and also on YouTube. I've known him for several years now in the Instagram community. He has very informative YouTube videos. So if you guys want to subscribe to his channel, I'm going to link the video where he talks about this. And he does some really good comparisons between Asian English and North American cards. So you can kind of tell the difference of like, if you see the only the front, it's been rebacked. How can you tell that it's actually a rebacked, you know? So you see the card, how can you know it's legit? One of the main things I took away just a quick, I'm not going to go over everything he went over because he did a really good job. I think you guys should just check out his video. But um, he mentioned it you usually have to peel it off by a corner. So they're going to not probably be near mint cards. They're probably going to be like lightly played or moderately played cards that they're selling as rebacked. And so one of the corners is probably going to be turned up from where they had to peel it off or at least have like a, that little crease across. So look look for that whenever you guys see a suspicious card. It is pretty tough to tell though. Like he actually rebacked one in his video just to see how hard it was. And it looked pretty good. And he did it on his first try. So it's a little worrisome that people with a lot of experience can do this really easily. Schloss actually messaged me and asked me to make the video because he knew that more people needed to know about it. It's really dangerous because an Exodia actually sold on eBay for $1,500 and it's a rebacked card. So someone spent $1,500 on this Exodia. If it was you, um, you probably want to contact the seller, try and get a refund through eBay before it's too late because I will show a picture of this Exodia. This one was rebacked. Scary. It really is scary because like someone could buy a Blue Eyes White Dragon for thousands of dollars because they think it's, you know, first edition NA, but it's actually a rebacked you know, destroyed card basically. They've glued it on there, they've manufactured it. It's not even a legit card anymore. This is a quick update video. I wanted to let you guys know about the dangers of this. So whenever you're buying something on eBay, make sure you do your due diligence. Make sure you know what you're buying. Do some research, try and compare them. Maybe even ask some people, like if you're not sure, if you think it looks a little bit sketchy, ask some other people. Also, when buying eBay, always look at the seller feedback. So this guy had like 95%, which you think, oh, that's pretty good. One out, one out of every 20 is bad, you know, but 19 out of 20, you're good. On eBay, if you're not 99 plus, then you're probably, it's a little sketchy to deal with you. You either have bad customer service, you've scammed people, you've tried to scam people, something like that. 99 plus though, you're usually pretty safe in terms of the seller being like knowingly trying to scam you or just like doesn't want to give you your money back or something like that. Just a tidbit for eBay that you guys should keep in mind if you guys are new to buying on eBay. And finally, uh, we have some crazy videos coming up this week. Uh, I There hasn't been a box break announced as of like the night I'm recording this. I just got back from a very long drive back from Dallas. So I haven't, you know, gotten all my PO box and stuff like that. Potentially we'll have a box break this week, maybe Wednesday, not sure yet. But there's also some crazy videos. Saturday, I'm releasing the craziest video I've ever recorded just to hype it up right now. It's insane. It's awesome. It's super awesome. I'm super excited for you guys to see it. Saturday is when we're going to release it. I also am going to be opening OTS 16 this week. I'm going to be opening, there was something else cool. I already forgot, but there's something else, there's something else cool um, that you guys are going to see. So get excited. This week's a big one. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you guys enjoy it, we're almost at 80,000 subscribers at a hundred we're going to have a crazy video. I don't know what it's going to be. And definitely cool stuff between now and then as well. As you guys know, 
including this week, which is not even a special. It's just cool stuff. So, and finally, if you guys do buy stuff on eBay, make sure it's not rebacked. Of course, you guys can use my eBay affiliate link below. Just buy whatever you're buying. Just click my link, go to what you're going to buy, buy it. I get a percentage of it. You guys support the channel just by buying what you're already going to buy. Win-win for both of us. I also have my TCG player link as well, which works the exact same way. So I appreciate all you guys that use those. You support the channel without having to spend anything extra. And it's really awesome for me. Awesome for you guys. And that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A little bit of a shorter video today, but we've got some big ones coming up this week. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs> <laughs>